work started in the Omo Valley of southern Ethiopia nearly seven and a half years ago, aiming at generating 1,870 megawatts of power for the Eastern Africa country. Reports suggest the Gibe 3 hydroelectric power generating dam works have been delayed by about three years due to funding related constraints. But now, the Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation has announced that close to 90% of the dam is completed and the first phase of power generation will begin in June 2015. This is good news beyond Ethiopia. Upon completion of Gibe 3, uh, we are intending to export power to the, to the regions, like to Kenya, for example, where the transmission construction to, to Kenya is uh, under a tender process, uh, which will commence very, very soon. So the main uh, I mean, resource for this uh, power uh, uh, export to Kenya is uh, Gibe 3. The mechanical work at Gilgal Gibe 3 project is being undertaken by Italis Salini Construction, whereas Chinese companies handle the electrical work. The project is part of Ethiopia's plan of utilizing its energy sources. There is a sense of urgency to begin generating power from all power projects soon. We are following a fast tracking approach. We are not using uh, a normal uh, way of uh, constructing uh, power in any, in any power, wind, hydropower, and so on. So uh, if uh, the normal uh, uh, construction period will take seven, eight years, you see, we are we using fast tracking, we are, we are reducing it to five years or six years. So uh, because uh, otherwise we cannot uh, entitled to get to catch up the demand, the grown demand, you see. With plans of exporting power to the rest of the African continent, Ethiopia is harnessing its hydro, wind and geothermal power sources with close to 15 billion US dollars investment. And of all the projects, the 6,000 megawatts of electricity generating Renaissance Dam is the biggest not only in Ethiopia, but also in the whole of the continent. And the completion of Gilgil Gibe 3 is part of that bigger plan of meeting the local power needs. You know, the investment in Ethiopia is currently booming and the main backbone for this investment is energy. So um, from our uh, assessment, from our studies, the demand for uh, electricity is growing more than 25% per year. So uh, as uh, you can witness, we cannot cope up with this, with this demand at the moment and there is a lot of interruption as well. So uh, this project will bring about uh, I mean, a change in, uh, in this situation. At the moment, Ethiopia exports power to Kenya, Sudan and Djibouti and has lined up power exporting plans to Tanzania, Rwanda, South Sudan and Yemen. This energy export scheme, according to analysts, will boost Ethiopia's economy for the next decade. Currently, Ethiopia only generates 2,200 megawatts of power. And now that Gibe 3 is completed, it will double the nation's power generation capacity and avoid painful power cuts. Grumtala, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.